Main power on for the machine. Off. On. We have an amp meter for the grinding wheel. RPM display and adjustment knob for the regulating wheel. Emergency stop. Power on indicator. Off and on for a grinding wheel. Off and on for the regulating wheel. Off and on for the coolant. On for the hydraulic pump. The hydraulic pump supplies oil to both spindles and also provides pressure for the dressing units. To turn on the hydraulic pump, press start. To turn it off, we must press the emergency stop. The hydraulic pump has a built-in delay that allows oil to lubricate the spindle until the grinding wheels have come to a complete stop. When connecting the hydraulic pump, we need to make sure that U2 is the bottom left connector, B2 bottom middle, and W2 bottom right. When hooking up the coolant pump, U4 is going to be on the bottom left, B4 in the bottom middle, and W4 bottom right. When we're connecting the fan, we need to make sure we connect A to A. When we're connecting the hydraulic hoses, we need to make sure that we connect C to C, D to D, E to E, and F to F. We also need to connect G to G and H to H. When turning on the machine for the first time, we need to make sure that the phasing is correct. If the phasing is wrong, we're not going to see any oil through the side glass. In this case, our facing is correct and we see the oil through the side glass here and over here. Main power is going to be plugged in into L1, L2 and L3. We must also remember to put oil daily into the oiling cups of the dressers located here and here. Also here. Here. This unit is the oiler for the work table. In order to engage the grinding wheel dresser, we must have the hydraulic pump on. This lever will control the direction. This knob will control the speed. Also, the dresser has a built-in release handle. To engage the regulating wheel dresser, we must have the hydraulic pump on. We control the direction with this lever and the speed with this knob. It also has a built-in emergency release. In order to move the regulating grinding wheel, we use the microfeed hand wheel. To move the work table, we use the feed hand wheel or the micro feed hand wheel. But in order to use the micro feed hand wheel, we need to lock the nut on the hand wheel. Now it's engaged. When it's not in use, we release it. 